Hello friends, welcome to Log Life. You guys, I am here for the very first time in Detroit, Michigan. I actually just flew in, took an Uber from the airport here to my hotel. I'm staying at the Greek Town Hotel Casino, like right in downtown. In fact, look at this view. I'm on the 22nd floor of the hotel here. That's actually pretty cool. That's like the iconic GM tower, like the big round building there. And then just kind of looking out at the skyline. I'm super stoked to see this at nighttime. My flights to Detroit uh, were honestly pretty great. I had the seat next to me open, both flights from Anchorage to Seattle and Seattle to Detroit, which was crazy and unexpected, but I didn't sleep, so I am exhausted. Basically, I lost a night of sleep, but I'm glad to be here safely. I wanna give you guys a quick room tour to show you where I'm staying. Now this hotel was booked for me by the organization that I'm here speaking for. Honestly, it's pretty awesome. So when you first walk in, you'll see right here on the left-hand side, there's a little sink, vanity area, of course, nice bath things that I will steal. And then in here you have toilet, towels, super nice stand-up tile and glass shower. A uh, feature that I don't see at almost any hotels, a scale. I actually don't ever remember seeing that at any hotel we've ever stayed in. And in the main part of the room, you can see a nice big TV, a Keurig, coffee, some water bottles, which I definitely need after flying all day. And then it looks like down here, we have, oh, well, we have a fridge that says it would be full of stuff, like a mini bar, but there's nothing in there, so hopefully I don't get charged for all that stuff. And nice big bed, hopefully super comfortable, but even if it's not, I am gonna sleep great. So that is the room, honestly. I really like it, it's super modern. Uh, here's one thing that I really like. It's actually a pretty small room. You can tell that they fit a lot of hotel, or a lot of rooms into this hotel. However, they did such a good job using the space that it doesn't feel small. It actually feels like a normal hotel. So I'm super impressed with this place. Also, I love that it's right downtown. Since I don't have much time here in Detroit, it looks like it's close to stuff. So hopefully I'll be able to get out and explore at least a little bit. All right, friends, so we're out exploring the streets of Detroit. Confession, it is actually my last morning here. I fly out in just a few hours. I haven't had much time to get out and explore. However, I have seen kind of a few fun things. Last night, a friend and I went out and walked around downtown and we stumbled upon the weirdest thing. It was like late at night and there was a whole bunch of marching bands, like a high school marching band competition just taking over this entire section of the city, we heard like drums and horns and we couldn't figure out what it was, so we tracked it down and saw this. So then as we continued to walk around, we stumbled upon something called Yumacon. Now, I knew Yumacon was happening here in Detroit because I saw signs for it in my hotel. Apparently it's like a big anime pop culture con here in Detroit. Thousands and thousands of people. So yesterday we did walk through for just a couple minutes the main convention site. <laughs> And as cool as all the cosplay was, this was my favorite part. So we're walking around the GM Center here in Detroit and they have the new minivan on display. Uh, most of you guys will know this, Disney World launched these as a new mode of transportation this past year. It's actually the first time I've seen one in person because we haven't been to Disney World since they launched these. Uh, saw it from a distance, had to come check it out, figured you guys would love that. Look how cool that is. But now I'm heading to the number one thing I had to do before I left Detroit. Even though it is only 10.30 a.m., this is what I came out for primarily this morning. Not a lot of people know the Coney Dog actually arguably founded here in Detroit. And these two places, American Coney and Lafayette Coney Island, that sit right next to each other, have been in a Coney battle for years on who has the best Coney Dog. So I'm deciding for myself today. And you can see here's Lafayette's menu with their prices. So a Coney was $3. So here's the Coney at Lafayette. You can see super classic. Got that chili, the Coney sauce, the onions, mustard. Got that dog in there on the bun. I'm excited to dive into this. 
So after a couple bites, I will say the dog has the perfect pop. The flavors are just absolutely amazing. I honestly don't know how this could be better. That was just about the perfect Coney dog. And here on the wall, you can see all the awards they've won, the famous people that have come through to enjoy their Coney's. And then just so you know, this is what it looks like inside Lafayette, totally unassuming, it's exactly what you would want it to be. Now, let's go next door to the competition. You can see the look here in American Coney, very, very different. And here's the menu at American Coney Island. You can see the Coney dog here is 319. They do have other things as well. And my Coney just got delivered. It took about the exact same amount of time here as it did next door at Lafayette. The food came out almost instantly. I mean, honestly, within probably 90 seconds of ordering, I had my food at both places. And this one, again, very similar looking. I'm excited to see uh, how it tastes. Coney number two, finished. I tried them both. To me, there was a clear winner. All right, so I found a place to sit that's semi-quiet. Let me give you my review of Lafayette Coney Island and American Coney Island. So first of all, both of the Coney dogs were amazing. Like really, really good. I would go back to both for sure. But I will say I actually preferred the dog at Lafayette just a little bit. I mean like you guys buy an inch. And I think the reason is that there was some spice in the chili at, uh, at American that like, I don't know, I liked but I didn't love. And so to me, Lafayette had a better Coney dog. But the difference to me, uh, the biggest difference actually wasn't in the food I didn't think. I thought the biggest difference was in the atmosphere. Because to me, a Coney dog is like a working man's food. It's like blue collar food, right? And Lafayette just has this like, I don't know, this old school throwback diner kind of feel. It's the kind of place that I want to eat a Coney dog in. An American has gone kind of the opposite direction where it feels very brand like everything is you know red white and blue and I even saw some photos they have this like Coney dog mascot that they take to events and I don't know it just felt more corporate whereas Lafayette felt more working man's and to me that's what I want in a place that I eat a Coney so atmosphere is really what sets Lafayette apart in my opinion I thought the dogs at both were great but if I had to pick only one to go back to I'd go back to Lafayette. Now I know that there are a lot more Coney places here in Detroit. Uh, those probably just the two most popular, so I wanted to check those off on my first trip. When I come back, hopefully we'll be able to explore more of Detroit's food and Coney culture. Also you guys, it is so cold here. Like the wind just like chills you to the bone. I do love seeing all the fall colors in Michigan though. It's been really pretty here in the downtown area and I can only imagine how beautiful it is once you get like out into the countryside, all of the reds, the oranges, and the yellows. And then as I'm walking through downtown area, I come across this statue, uh, clearly supposed to be like Mickey Mouse inspired. You can see the Mickey Mouse buttons, the gloves but I don't really know what it's supposed to signify. And you can see they're setting up an ice rink right here in this main little park area. That'll be a cool winter activity, sort of an outdoor downtown skating area. This totally looks like my kind of place. It's called Roasting Plant Coffee. Let's see how it is. So you guys, this is the craziest coffee setup I think I've ever seen. Uh, I don't know what this machine is called. The Java Bot maybe? But here's like all of their coffee beans here. When somebody places a coffee order up there, it pulls the beans for their coffee, siphons them up through these tubes, deposits them down into the machine that makes their coffee. Like, what? I've never seen anything like this. But honestly, it makes a delicious cup of coffee. So one thing I do wish I would have brought with me to Detroit was my black and white film camera. Because some of the old buildings here, I think just lend itself to black and white film photography. I'm honestly really bummed that I don't have it with me because buildings like this would just be amazing. There's just so many old classic style buildings all around the city. Like, I just want that in black and white. I'm also really loving this building. This is the Wayne County building. So some kind of a government building. I love all of the detail on it though. This is the neighborhood that I've been staying in. It's called Greek Town. You can see lots and lots of restaurants, shops, bars, and actually right up there, the big building, that's actually the hotel that I'm at. Because I was out walking around last night, there were definitely a lot of people out enjoying the nightlife here in this area. Uh, not so much today on a Sunday, well, late morning. All right, friends, that is where I'm gonna end this vlog. I'm back at my hotel, I have to finish packing and then get ready to head to the airport. I will say, even though I didn't have a ton of time here in Detroit, I loved, loved, loved the time that I got to spend just walking around downtown, looking at this awesome city. I mean, you guys, look at this. How 
cool is that? It's definitely a town that I'd like to come back to and explore a little bit more for sure. And I will say walking around downtown, you know, I didn't really know what to expect. I don't know a ton about Detroit. I've heard like obviously the crash of the automobile industry, kind of its resurgence and all that that has done to the Detroit economy and the area around. But walking around downtown, I never felt unsafe. I really enjoyed myself everywhere that I went. So Detroit, I had a blast visiting you. I got some Coney dogs. I got to walk around, see a bunch of old buildings, see a bunch of cool things. So that's a success. As always, thanks for watching Love Life. We'll see you guys on our next video.